This is the abandoned mining town of Cerro Gordo. In July of 2020, a fire took the American hotel here. It was a gut punch, but we vowed to rebuild. This is the three-year journey of rebuilding a hotel in a ghost town. The issue we're running into is that everything up on the mountain at 8,500 feet that has to come up the dirt road is difficult. And what we're running into is no concrete company wants to deliver concrete up here. Special shout out to Mr. Dave Sparks. You guys are uh, changing Cerro Gordo's history. That's our real. plan. That's, that's, we're happy to be a small part of it. Dave brought up a massive concrete mixer truck. And what we used were quickcrete super sacks. So these are nylon sacks that hold an entire yard of concrete. They're 3,000 pounds each. In just a minute, I will be taking this five ton beast down to Keeler, where there is three semi trucks full of cinder blocks arriving from Bakersfield. We figured out that the quickest way to unload them was just by hand. And so we would form these chains of eight to 10 people and just be singing and cheering and laughing as we're unloading 4,000 cinder blocks. Well, it's the moment I've been waiting a very long time for. It is time to finally start putting down the block for the basement of the American Hotel. And over the next few days, you will see these walls start to go up. All right, so as you can see, day as we go, we got the concrete truck up here. We have the pump over here, because we're gonna have to use a pump to get it into all the different corners. We're pouring all the cells to make it a solid wall. And I'm excited, you know, it's kind of you know, finally start looking like a, a full basement, which is pretty sweet.
tomorrow, exactly where I'm standing, will be a 40,000 gallon water tank. As we started getting the plans developed to rebuild, the plans called for a fire sprinkler system. And this fire sprinkler system has to be able to run for 60 minutes straight without running out of water. Yeah, dude, I mean, based off of that, it's, that's definitely right up our alley, and I'd say we're in 100%. <laughs> There's some happy dudes right there. It's going good. It's been, uh, it's actually been incredibly smooth. Usually big jobs like this, you have some disaster after another, after another. This time, everything's gone just oddly smooth. We experienced two back-to-back -back floods that completely washed out our road. You know, these are floods that they were calling thousand-year floods. This time, the community that cares so much about this town has all rallied behind it and we're gonna make it happen. The day began unloading 14 pallets of these cement bags. Each one of them weighs just over 3,000 pounds. At the end of the day, sometimes you just really want to see something exist in the world. And if you have that belief, that unwavering passion that you're going to see this thing exist, no matter what the cost, no matter how difficult it's going to be, then you just do it. We're going to do an experiment. The experiment is putting the excavator in the back of a five ton because we can't lift concrete bucket up high enough with just this to put it in the wall, so cross your fingers. How do you think it's gonna go? It's gonna go perfect.
There's our basement. So that's a bummer because we want to start framing soon. But you can't frame, you've got a lot of moisture down here. So not only now do we have to wait till it's not snowing, we gotta wait till this snow gets out of here. Either shovel it out or wait for it to melt. Because we don't want to be trapping any moisture anywhere while we're framing and warp the boards. The basement is done and we're gonna start framing, which is big. We have enough wood here to get the basement and the first floor going. And then from there, keep going up. And so I'm hoping that now that we're onto the framing, things go a little smoother. The day's finally come to start decking this first floor here. We're gonna hopefully by the end of the day get at least a quarter of this done. All right, so we're all loaded up. We got 16 foot two by sixes, 16 foot two by fours. I look like a crazy person with these goggles on. Let's go. Day, the walls start going up. And that is very, very exciting because that'll look like a building. <laughs>
we're just gonna attempt to send these steel beams up there and hope for the best just play it by ear we got two up here three more down in keeler As you can see, the second story of the hotel is going up. <laughs> We're about to hoist this big old 73 foot long wall using these wall jacks here. And after this one, there's only one more long one. Been a long time coming, it's slow going. I'm very excited and it's starting to look like a building, feel like a building. So fingers crossed, send us our best wishes that the thing gets enclosed here before the real snow hits.